Hello everyone, Tyler with Diesel Laptops. So the screen you're looking at first was an initial global scan we did on an international truck. And we're pick, gonna go check out the body controller. So the body controller is the part in the truck that controls all kinds of systems, such as the HVAC system, the electrical system, windows, doors, seats, just a variety of different commands and things that you need to do on the cab controller side. So right now what we see is we're waiting for the device to initialize. We're doing everything via Bluetooth. So it's kind of talking to the adapter saying, hey, are you there? Yes, I am. Now once you turn the key on and press confirm. So we just kind of have some confirmation buttons here with the Texa. You just always want to click through and just look, watch the directions on there and see what it says. So now it's telling us that it, it's just doing an ECU recognition. Now it's reading that ECU for all the errors. ECU obviously standing for electronic control unit. And again, this is on a body controller on an international. So historically, they're kind of hard to read the codes and do much with. So we'll show what you can do with the Texa system on this truck. This is done uh, in October of 2016 on version 39.1. So right away, boom, we pop up. We're on the faults tab, and we can see all our faults. But let's go over to the parameter tab first. So right now, there's 58 different parameters or sensors you can read. We'll scroll through all these real quick just so you can kind of see what they are. Viewing live data, the red and the green represent the low and the high value while you've been connected to the vehicle. And we can go through here and get a good idea of all the different uh, readings that we can pull off of this particular ECU. All right, so now let's go over to the fault tab and we're gonna have a bunch of faults. The yellow are inactive, the red ones are active. So if you double click any of them, you'll actually get that SPN and FMI. And there's also a count over there on the right. And those are what you need in order to properly troubleshoot the code. So included with our Texa kits, we do have DTC solutions, which tells you what all those codes actually mean and where to go. And we also have some service manuals. So there's the status where it's reading all the different ECUs, ECU info tab, and activations is where you can actually do some commands. And on this particular one, not really much you can do, but there you go. That's what we can do on a body controller international. Thank you for watching.